a celebration. For what? Mm -hmm. Suki, get some glasses, and Jackson, put some music on. Whatever you want. Just make it festive. Got it. I don't know what this is, but it's fun. <laughs> Let's see. I got Creedence Clearwater Revival. Good energy to Hillbilly. OK. How are you coming with those glasses, Suk? Just wiping off the fancy ones. Huey Lewis in the news? It's Suki's. <laughs> hey, we all have our guilty pleasures. Herb Albert in the Tijuana Brass? Oh, fun, festive, that's perfect. Crank it. OK, I've got some cold dom for me and Jackson. Happens to be my brand. Oh, I love this song. And uh, for Suki and little baby, uh, whatever it is, it's <laughs> got the uh, apple bubbly stuff. And cheers. 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 No, come on, what are we celebrating? Well, you ready? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> the Independence Inn is closing. Yay! The Inn is closing. Not closing, closed. We're finished, it's all over. They're boarding the place up as we speak. Who wants more? Well, did they find some gold in the basement or something? Because I'm missing the celebrating angle. You should always celebrate new challenges. And that's what this is. A new challenge. Yes, there'll be some severance pay, then nothing. Nothing. Nothing but exciting new challenges. Cheers. <laughs> the inn is closed. Mm. Well, I, I guess this means that you guys can focus solely on, on refurbishing the dragonfly, getting that up and running. That's exciting. <laughs> yes, it mm. is. Yeah, I agree. But just drink some more. How are you feeling? A little drunk, and <laughs> all I'm drinking is apple juice. Well, good, because I've got another little piece of news for you. We can't buy the dragonfly because I can't swing my share of the money because I no longer have a steady income. Wow, that is great. I'm sorry, was that an exciting challenge, too? Absolutely. Yesterday, our lives were boring and predictable. We had jobs, we were going to start our own business. But now, everything is wide open. We can do anything we want because we're not penned in. That's good. Yes, that's good. And thinking of those new challenges is a nice way to distract me from the fact that we don't work together anymore. So we're going to see way less of each other. So, Which will make our limited time together more enjoyable. Right. And since I'm your vegetable supplier, I'm losing work and seeing my wife and close friend way less than before. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> We should bring it in a bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, but first, why don't you use a medieval torture instrument to crush my ribs and flatten my spinal cord in order to accommodate your sadistic wish there? Don't use subtlety on us. We're slow. I think she's saying that we don't need to bring it in anymore. Take it off. You're done. Ugh, I should go. I've got a stupid job at a reach tomorrow morning. And you know what? I'm nervous. Which place? Harrington's in Woodbridge. Nice. They want me to be their executive chef four nights a week. God, I can't imagine working someplace else. And without my Lorelei. But it's only a few months till the dragonfly opens, right? Uh, you haven't told her yet. Tell me what? I was waiting for an opportunity. To tell me what? Which apparently is right now. OK, um, hon, listen, we, um, we're not buying the dragonfly. What? It's just not the right time. You're crazy. It's the perfect time. Not really. But if you wait, someone else is going to buy it. You said so yourself. I'm going to go, guys. Okay. Sorry, I spilled the beans. That's OK. I'll see you later. Mom, why well, put it off? I mean, I know the Independence in closing is a setback. Big one. But we've got the rest of Grandpa's money. That's plenty to buy the Dragonfly in. And we'll just scrimp on everything until it's all up and running and successful. It would take a lot of scrimping. Well, I'm a master scrimper. I would make the Olympic scrimping team. I'm oh. that good boy. Honey, we didn't get financial aid for Yale. What? No scholarships, no hardship money, no money off coupons, no gift certificates, nothing. I don't understand. What happened? Well, irony of ironies, the money I got from your grandpa uh, took us out of the running for financial aid because it made it look like we have money. Well, send them proof. A bank statement, a letter from grandpa. Here, take a picture of this couch. No one will think we have money after looking at this couch. I tried everything, I swear. Why didn't you tell me this? With everything that's going on, finals and all your personal stuff, I didn't want you worrying. But grandpa's money is paying for Yale. No, no way. Rory. I'll take a student loan out from the bank. That's what banks are for. I, I don't want you to be buried by loans the day you graduate from college. Well, then I'll major in something that'll immediately make me a lot of money when I graduate. I'll major in business or engineering. You're not changing your major from journalism because of my lack of money. It's our lack. Look, if you need to work as a low-paid intern for a magazine or a stringer for some small-town newspaper or Tom Brokaw's to pay comb her out her before you make real money, then that's what you'll do. There has to be another way. I've looked. There's nothing. This is so not fair to you. I'll have my own in one day, I promise. But Yale comes first. What are you going to do now? Really? God, for a while? Tell her I said hi. <laughs> <laughs>